When I was a child and adolescent, uh, the, all of the liturgies were in Latin. Uh, it was 50 years ago, so before a lot of people's time. Um, and one of the few things that was in English, besides the gospel and the sermon of that day, was what they called the final gospel. And it was a reading of a part of what I just read from the Gospel of John. So naturally, since it was the only thing, or besides the sermon and the other in English, uh, we would focus on it. But as a child and as a teenager, I can't say I liked the, the reading. I didn't understand in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, etc. So when it came time after I was ordained a priest, this is the reading for uh, Christmas, some are dead, not for Christmas Eve is when the familiar story from the Gospel of Luke, the shepherds, the angels, no room at the inn, being uh, Jesus in the manger, all of that is from the Gospel of Luke, and that's last night's reading. So when I became a priest and I had to have Mass, say on Christmas Day like today, Christmas Eve, well, I, I love the story, as we all do, do we not? The story of the birth of Jesus. Uh, last night, um, at the 5 o'clock, both 5 o'clock, as a matter of fact, the, the kids at the, before the Mass, or just at the beginning, acted out the, that story that's so familiar to us, and that was the Gospel. So, when I had the choice, which I did, for 30-some years, I, I would always just simply transfer the Gospel the Lucan Gospel, the story we all, you all came to hear, right? <laughs> and, uh, and, so, and, and preempt, which is perfectly all right. But uh, a few years ago, not too many, I began to long again for a deeper meaning to what we celebrate today. And uh, certainly you can find that in the story of Luke, but it becomes romanticized, you know. A little bit, and it's uh, it's kind of a, a pleasant story that children can act out, and that we we naturally read to our children, right, from the children's Bible and stuff. But there's something so much deeper about the incarnation, about the Word becoming flesh, about God becoming one of us completely, not simply in birth, but in life, in death, and then glorious in resurrection. And there's something that, that, uh, that I long to hear over and over again. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. I see that all the time. I see a lot of darkness. You see a lot of darkness. Maybe in your own life, you see it in other people's lives. You see it in the paper. But the darkness will not be overcome because Christ is incarnate. It's in my heart and it's in yours, if you're open to it. He, he will use us as his instruments to bring light, and the light, darkness will not overcome it. Last week or week before last, we celebrated the, the burial of death and the burial of Nelson Mandela. He always strikes me as one of those people that the darkness did not overcome him. 27 years of hard labor and solitary confinement did not destroy the light. You know? I, 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 I'm inspired by our present Pope because there's a, a clarity, a transparency about how he loves. You know, um, last week was his birthday, you know, the week before, I don't know, but soon, and he was 77. So he had, uh, that day, he had his normal daily Mass, and the people that were invited in particular to the Mass were all the people that work in the, uh, the hotel where he lives. So they all came to Mass. Okay. And then for breakfast, besides whoever else, there were four people who were homeless that were there and shared breakfast with him. It seemed natural to him. Uh, so the darkness did not overcome that, that man saw a lot of darkness in Argentina, right? A lot of darkness. A lot of friends disappeared. You know? And that's so I long to hear this story. And I think you long to hear this story too. Um, 
You know, you long to see that the message, that what the, the greatest blessing, the greatest power God gives us is not that we become Pope or a priest or a president or whatever else, but that we become a child of God, as it says. But to those who did accept Him, He gave the power to become the children of God to those who believe in His name. And, it, and as He says, and it was, we were not born by natural generation. It wasn't just because my parents were Catholic, and they were good. My mother was a good, good Christian. And it wasn't just by human choice, just because I chose it. It's because the power of God invited me into the light. And the same is true for you. The power of God invites you into the light. And He's dwelling among us, this reading says. Uh, in the Greek it says, He pitches his tent among us. He's with us. And we see his glory. You know, I, even in the, in the sadness of people's life, I see the glory of God shining through as they endure what they have to do. For those who are dying, would they, that they turn their eyes toward God. I see it all the time. The, the darkness will not overcome you and I. Not because we choose it, but because the power of God is there and compels it, and the invitation is there. You know, and it is not through the law, as he says of Moses, he's talking talk right into the Jewish audience in that case. But grace and truth, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. The more I know him, the more I love him, and the more I want to give my heart to him. You know, grace and truth in his life. And no one has seen God, that's true. The only Son of God, who is at the Father's side, it's in Greek, it's at the Father's bosom, has revealed it. Friends, this is, so I, I long again, I've gotten over my childhood and adolescence. I long to hear this reading, you know. I long to, because I know it's to be true. I know it to be true. I know it's an invitation. It is as real, and not just on Christmas morning, but it is as real in the dark times of your life and mine as it is in anyone else's. So, we have something really to rejoice. Not our own power, but what God has done to us, and given to us, and incorporated in us, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm.